Alright, sweet peas, uh, this particular video file is being made on today's date, and then today's date is, um, well, what I'll do is, once I transfer over some audio from two separate, um, some audio from a, uh, uh, radio show that I called in and spoke on, on August 8, 2011, I mean, I'm sorry, 2013, and then, concerning a transferred audio segment to my cell phone concerning a harassment event that took place towards me on a sidewalk on Thanksgiving Day. Now this is one of the best videos that you'll ever uh, see me make and the reason why I'm doing it is because what I'm doing is I'm showing you undisputable proof. Um, let me get this candy out of my mouth real fast. Sorry about this. Okay, now I'm just going to fly right into the purpose of this video. Check it out. Alright, now this right here is a, um, is an email file that you can clearly see is dated on December 9th, 2011 at 7 o'clock. The, the file name is called Gang Stalking Tactics and Methods Predicted Concerning Leslie Williams. Okay? Now, when you look at this same email with my name on it, okay, look at the date. December 9th, Friday, 2011. Today's date is December 13th, 2013, which I will be showing you in this video file before it ends once the audio segment, transferred audio segment to this cell phone has been played for you. After that's complete, I will then actually use the phone to show you today's date. And the reason why I'm doing that is because today's date is December 13th, 2013. This email was made on December 9th, 2011. In this, right, in this email, it says, My name is Leslie K. Williams. If anything happens towards me, about me, concerning me, uh, or against me, along, along, slash, or in the following descriptive statements, it will be directly, it, it will be the direct concerted effort of the gang stalking. That's the word you want to remember right there. Organized stalking expeditions that are going on towards me in San Diego literally every day along all of my routes. Overt and covert harassment, okay? Direct conversations and street theaters they implement along my routes, even using witnesses when they will feel it's necessary, which is a gang stalking tactic, okay? Um, you can find online. On a daily basis, even using employees and management and securities in stores and other businesses I frequent, gang stalkers who come in these stores or businesses and act as customers, they are aware that I go into these certain businesses on a regular basis, so their goal is to make it appear that the people, okay, uh, 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 they use to cause problems were in these businesses for normal legitimate reasons like at the checkout lanes, aisles, customer service counters. These businesses include but not limited to Jack in the Box, Walmart, Hazard Center Movie Theater off of Friars and Frazzy Road, the gas station at Frazzy and Friars Road, McDonald's in Walmarts, MTS Transit Center downtown San Diego off of Broadway Street, all bus stops I go to, all bus routes I take on any day, and all trolley routes and trolley stations I take and wait at, Social Security offices and Social Security offices. I'm going to skip that part for right now. Okay. Now, it basically goes on to say here, any San Diego police officer at any division location, any police department of the state, sheriffs in the state of California, if I am assaulted, intimidated, harassed in any way, shape, or form, including at the University of San Diego, its library, or any other building on their campus, including student staff or any employment description on campus, and then it goes to say, then it goes to say, review this specific website that's no longer online, gangstalkingworld.com. So basically, what I'm stating in this email, okay, is it also talks about where I was periodically hiking out at in that calendar month, okay, which is the area that I'm in, that I'm at right now, okay. Now. Uh, oh, actually, I'm sorry. No, it's not. This is when I was hiking 150 feet away from the San Diego FBI. Now, I want you to understand something. Do you see how gang stalking is mentioned flat? It's the first word that's mentioned in this email file that was made on December 11th, December 9th, 2011. 
you see Jack in the Box is, 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 is written in here. Now, I'm going to be making some other videos today and then posting them online more than likely on the same exact day I post this one. But have you noticed how businesses were mentioned in this particular email file? Dated on this date, Gangstalking is the very first name in the file name of this Gmail file. The date, Gangstalking, Businesses, and Jack in the Box is what you need to pay attention to. And why am I telling you to do that? Because I want you to listen to this. This is me on a national radio show on August, 9, uh, August 8th, 2013, which I am very grateful that I had the opportunity to be on this radio show. Okay? Now, I want you to listen to... to what, I, what I'm doing right now is that I'm going to play you the audio segment of this national radio show from exactly 152 uh, colon 11 to 152 colon 31. Then I'm going to press the mute button until it gets to 153.57. Okay? And I'm doing that because there's no reason for you to be able to hear what's between those s selected time frames. Now, I want you to listen to what this guy says right now. Just listen. Let your voice be a weapon of choice. Don't be angry at the media. Be the media tonight on this program. We should be turning the phones on, getting the word out there, spreading the message of what we feel about what's going on here. Good, bad, yes, no, there is no wrong answer. We're here to discuss the issues, the ones that are the most important right now. On ground. Okay, now, this is, uh, na again, a national radio show, and uh, for the most part, he's got very good shows. Now, what I want to do also is uh, bring you look here to this blog right here that's on my computer. It's titled, you can go to Google right now and type this in. Fi go to Google and type this in as you see it. 5 forward slash 30 forward slash 13 torture and gang stalking proved undeniably in San Diego learning disabled woman. This blog has multiple videos in it concerning identical harassment that is happening towards me, concerning me, about me, around me, or against me at multiple places. Identical harassment, which you're about, which you're about ready to hear on this, on, uh, concerning the audio that's on this uh, phone right now that's been transferred over from a tape recorder that caught the event of the harassment on Thanksgiving Day 2013. Now remember what I said. This email was written, okay, on December 9th, 2011, two years, two years and four days ago to the date of today's date. Gang stalking is flat out mentioned right in the file name. And you can see that it was printed out on this date. Okay? 12-09-2011 at 7.08 p.m. Okay, there's the printout right there showing that the date it was printed out. Okay? Gang stalking right on the file name. Businesses included on this file name. I mean, on, on this in this printed out email. Jack in a Box. Okay. MTF. Yes. It also talks about the direct conversation method. Okay. Now, the date is what you want to be. The date and the word gang stalking in the businesses is what you need to pay attention to. Closely. Now, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to play you the next segment of this radio show. Because it's pertinent. But I gotta fast forward it to that time, to to the necessary time uh, frame of it, and this is a little bit touchy right now, so just bear with me. Jesus, uh, you can barely move it, and it flips all the way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mute it until I can get to that, until I can get to that uh, time frame. Just bear with me for a second. I'm gonna mute it until it gets up to 153. So that's gonna take about a minute. Okay. Now, again, I'll talk for a minute until I get, well, it's actually 153.57 into it. So that's about two minutes. So while that's playing, <laughs> let me just show you a couple other things here while that's playing that are germane to the situation. Okay? This right here is a manifesto that you can find by going to Google and typing in a gang stalking tech, everything you need to know. This is a manifesto of a manager of gang stalking crews. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, now, what's very important for you, to, so you can go to the internet and type in a gang stalking tech, everything you need to know, to look at this manifesto. Because based on extensive experience, 
and extensive, extensive research that I have done online for years, I had no doubt in my mind that this was written by a manager of gang stalking. Okay. Now, uh, I got to kill at least, let's see, another 45 seconds before I can play this particular segment of this particular uh, radio broadcast because this is literally me being on the radio show. I want you to listen to everything I state in it. Um, again, go to Google and type this in. Just do it. Okay? It's a blog. And then make sure you meticulously research everything that is in that blog. Huge amounts of evidence. Okay? Now, I'm, all, I'm almost at that point now in this radio broadcast for you to be able to listen to it. Okay, so let me do something here real fast. Okay. So, as soon as it gets to 153.57... I'm taking a shower. Okay. Alright, so hold on one more second. Okay. Just one more second. Bear with me. I'll be turning it up in about in uh, just a few seconds here. There is no spying programs in the United States, but we we have one click away from finding out what you're doing. One click away, and Americans just go, "Yeah, I know. Okay. What are you gonna do?" Yeah, you know, it's just I don't know. I don't understand how we can not be outraged. Leslie in San Diego, California, you're on ground zero. Yes, hi, Clyde. Can you hear me? Yes, go ahead. Listen, I, I called a little while, uh, about a week or two ago, when you were doing the um, the, the uh, broadcast concerning the Trayvon Martin and the George Zimmerman. And um, uh, so that's, um, I, I forgot to mention at that time uh, that, I, you know, that I was glad that you're feeling better. Thank you. You're welcome. Listen, um, I wanted to call tonight because of the subject matter that you're covering. Uh, there's an article online that the um, listeners can go to if they feel inclined to do so that's titled, I believe, the ACLU and the Industrial Complex concerning about how uh, the ACLU has discovered that uh, the American government is uh, using businesses to um, surveil Americans. And... Um, it brings me back to those uh, days of East Germany. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, not only businesses, but pharmacies now. I was also reading something about how pharmacies, uh, they, they, they score you uh, with the drugs you take. They, they score you on possible risks, and if you fit into those categories, you're immediately reported to the DEA. Really? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah, well, you and know, that, that's, that's what's going on, and it, it just seems to me that, um, you know, there are all sorts of things going on. I mean, I told people that the medical state, that the, the Obama plan is uh, part of the medical surveillance state. It's, it's all about, you know, spying on everything you do, what you eat, what you drink, what drugs you take, who you're having sex with, who you're marrying. I mean, they're controlling everything. Well, you know, let me ask you a question. Uh, Clyde, I think you, I've heard on a couple of your shows before about how uh, you've talked, I think, about COINTELPRO. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, there's a lot of Americans right now who are do, do, trying to do the right thing. You know, by, by, by you know, blogs, uh, blogs that people write out of concern to get the word out, like being your, you know, your voice is your weapon of choice. Yes. And, you know, there's a lot of people that might just consider an American who's trying to do the right thing and spread the word. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. They might view that blog as being nothing but graffiti with punctuation. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, you know. Look, I'm a gang stalking target. And I'm a good woman, and I'm 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 harassed by I'm not going to say specific places or anything because I know I'm on I'm on the you know the radio show right now, but I can't get no help because of how um every you know if you research this crime, so practically every target is saying that the government is involved. It's it's in some way. Well, it's you can you can think the government's involved, or there are people out there that just want to be a pain in your butt. I mean, I got a guy who tweets me every day saying that he believes that he's a monitor of hate speech radio and he wants to correct me at every moment anything I say about the president. The thing about him is is he's nothing more than a smug pseudo-skeptic 
ass, and I'm sick and tired of him, and I basically called him out on my Facebook page. I've called him out on Twitter, and he continues to persist. And I tell you what, you know, I'm just waiting for the moment where he does something where I'm just going to say, you know what, guy, you want to keep pushing this? I'll push it, too. Because, it, you know, it just seems to me that he has it all figured out, you know. They all have it figured out of what your agenda is, and they know nothing about you. Well, here's the quiet thing. The only thing I can say is that I'm, I'm glad you're feeling better. Keep up the good work. And I appreciate you letting me call. And, and, and I hope that people, you know, if they, when they have the time, if they can investigate what organized stalking and gang stalking is, because there's sure. a lot of Americans right now being targeted. Oh, I had, a, I had a friend of mine call me today tell me that he believes that he's targeted, and I figured it was something that uh, we could talk about eventually. We talk about it all the time on this program, but let's say i got to run. I appreciate the call. Okay. Now, this was on... Okay, a show on Clyde Zero called American Garrison, which which was broadcasted on August 8, 2013. Now, which I was grateful for having the opportunity for to be able to get on the national radio show and talk about what was happening to me in a limited fashion. Um, but you noticed how I talked about the ACLU and the website that they post the web page they posted online concerning how businesses are being used for surveillance. Now, I'm aware that Clyde Zero, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm aware that Clyde Lewis said that people can think that gang stalking is directly connected to the government, <laughs> but I do want to make a statement to you. Clyde has done subsequent radio shows on gang stalking since August 8, 2013, and the government was mentioned throughout the entire uh, radio broadcast. Now, again, American Garrison. Go to Google, type in American Garrison, Clyde Lewis, Ground Zero, and you'll be able to hear me talk about being gang-stalked and being gang-stalked at businesses. Well, I, I talked about how the businesses were being used to surveil Americans. Concerning that ACLU uh, post, look at this, go to Google and look at this blog, okay? And look at the evidence that's in it, okay? Now, I'm going to scroll down for a few seconds in this blog, okay? Oh, hold on a second. Oh, hang on. Okay. Now, let's see. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. Now, hmm. It says it right here. Below, every video below shows the same tactic caught on audio files that span over 1.5 years in calendar time durations. And all you got to do is go into the blog to see that I'm telling you the truth. Okay? Okay? Now, it says, every video below shows the same tactic caught on audio files. Okay? Now, let's look at a couple of these blogs, or a couple of these video files by their names. Okay. Uh, uh, UCSD gang stalking caught being repeatedly said 8 forward slash 16 forward slash 2012 a round target of this crime uh, 2 of 3. This is the YouTube title right here. UCSD gang stalking caught being repeatedly said 8 16 2012 a round target of this crime two of three, which means video number two of three. Type that in at YouTube and listen to how you hear gang stalking on that YouTube video from August 16, 2012. Today's date is December 13, 2013. A year and several months later. Now I want you to listen to this. Listen to this. Do you hear these guys say gang stalk? One says gang stalking and the other one says gang is stalking. I'm going to F you up. And this individual has been used on at least anywhere between 8 and 11 separate occasions concerning overt and at times direct harassment. Do you hear these guys say gang stalk together? One says gang stalking in the background, and then the other one says gang is stalking, I'm going to F you up.
Now that event transpired towards me on the sidewalk just here on Thanksgiving Day, 2013. And today's date is December December 13th, 2013. That's right. So, you just got done seeing an email that was made on December 9th, 2011. Hold on a second. Say a command. December 13th, Friday, 11, 26 a.m. Okay. Now, you just got done seeing, okay, an email that was made on December 9th, 2011. December 13th, 2013. The audio you just heard from the cell phone is directly connected to an event that took place in La Jolla, California, okay, on November 28th, 2013, okay. Today's date is 12 13, 2013. Just a couple weeks past Thanksgiving, the event took place on Thanksgiving Day. This email was made on December 9th, 2011. Gang stalking is right on the very first word of the file name of this gmail file okay so and this blog right here that was written in may of 2013 flat out shows gang stalking caught being repeatedly said on 8 16 2012 okay but this that was a, that's the uh and then that's the last part of the youtube title this is a youtube title ucsd gang stalking caught being repeatedly said 8 16 2012 around target of this crime two of three that means it's the video two of a three-part video series okay that's a YouTube title that was placed in this blog that was made on okay May 30th 2013 so let's look at these these dates this one's from December 9th 2011 this YouTube video was made concerning UCSD okay of it happening at use on UCSD campus on um Let's see, I'm having a hard time refining it now because I had to scroll back to the top. Uh, that you that that YouTube video title. Let me just find it really fast because I scrolled back to the top of the blog in order to be able to show you the title of the blog. Well, you just seen it. That was made in I think what was it August 16, 2013. Here it is, right here. Okay, so let's look at these dates. August. This is the name of the YouTube title, and you'll be able to see its published date once you go to the YouTube itself the YouTube video okay this is a YouTube video title right here go to YouTube and type in UCSD gang stalking caught being repeatedly said on 8 16 2012 around target of this crime two of three type that in at YouTube okay 2012 August of 2012 this was December of 2011 okay that's right the blog that this YouTube video is in was made in May of 2013, and this Thanksgiving harassment event just occurred on Thanksgiving 2013. Now, if this doesn't, in, even it's in itself doesn't show you the co duration of this crime, I don't know what would. Just alone here in San Diego. I'm in San Diego, California. My name is Leslie Williams. I make these videos to inform, to expose the truth, and we're going to see how long it takes before an event transpires at UCSD, and they use that, that event as an excuse to ban me. Thank you for listening, and have a nice day.